All right. So all the ideas uh, fresh in my mind, we'll move on to uh, uh, another core concept in drawing. Uh, no matter how far you go in it, um, and this is uh, this is kind of like a tough a tough thing to really understand um, at first, but uh, or at least understand and put into practice. So. What actually differentiates forms isn't a line in reality. Um, you have the, the solidity of the form, and we express that as, as like the edge of a form, as, as line and drawing, uh, just for, for convenience, you know. Um, you can see lines when you look at things, but uh, really everything is just values placed next to each other, right? So, when I'm working on this, this uh, crow here, you know, up at the edge of the form, like, yeah, there's a line there, and I've expressed that line, but what really makes the crow pop out is the difference between this value in the background and the value in the shadow, right? So, at the end of a drawing, what I can do is I can pick, like, some key areas of delineation uh, that might be uh, might be important, right? Like here along the beak, I might really choose to delineate. I might really delineate a part of the eye, or really pop um, pop some delineation into uh, into the highlight. Um, I might pick up uh, the uh, the top of the head here just to give it some uh, some focus right but what I don't want to do is just go around the whole form uh, outlining it I want to be able to choose where delineation might work I'm thinking that it's probably gonna work here uh, right on the, the neck to shoulder transition. So I can probably get, get away with putting a uh, dark, deep, deeply incised line there. So we've already actually seen this at work uh, down here, right? If I want to, uh, if I want to delineate one of these um, rectangles, I can do that. But if I want to make the transition even more powerful, I can make the uh, value of this rectangle the same as the uh, as the outline and I've done something really different um, let me get zoomed in on this area so we can work on our on our theory a little more Okay, so you see that rectangle, you know, is, is very different than these delineated things. And one of the things you can do, which I've kind of done down in these, these uh, three-dimensional cubes, is uh, in certain areas, uh, you might want to actually use value and delineation. And that's, uh, that's actually a pretty common technique. This is, this is sort of like, um, like a, a cartoon... Uh, technique and actually not just cartoons but basically all throughout art, his art history there are examples of this. This is uh, a technique called uh, line and local color so and since we're not using color it'll be line and local value so uh, what, what I've done here is I have like used a line 
to delineate the contour of this rectangle and then I put a value inside it, right? Um, you can do the same thing with objects like a crow. I can take this line that I've, that I've done and I can create a darker value within it. Now local value, like we've discussed before, doesn't necessarily mean that uh, that I'm only using one value in a delineated area. Could be using a couple, but overall the value reads as one. So you can see like two different effects of using value and delineation and just value. You can kind of see here the edge is real soft between the background and the and, and the uh, the bird and I might like that. You know, I might want to even uh, throughout the drawing just keep certain areas pretty uh, pretty soft with like a, a non-delineated edge and that can kind of make this edge seem like it's just receding in, in space um, so that's one thing to watch out for whether you're painting or drawing is if you're getting uh, these really harsh edges you might be using the line and local color or value mode where you really shouldn't be you should be using just value to, to delineate uh, and that's it let's move on to uh, something else <laughs>